Let's play hide and seek. Are you ready? The little mermaid is playing hide and seek with her friends. Everyone hides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. The little mermaid hides between a large rock, giggling. Suddenly, a shadow passes overhead a boat. What's that up there? It's not Mr. Whale. Where are you going? Stay hidden. It could be dangerous. But the little mermaid is curious. She swims up to see what kind of boat it is. The boat is a research vessel filled with scientists and marine biologists exploring the ocean's mysteries. Hello, young lady. Would you like to see what we have discovered? We found over 171 trillion species of plastic floating in the world's oceans. Take a look through our microscope. That's awful. Is there anything we can do to save the ocean? Many of us are working on solutions, but there aren't enough of us yet. Poseidon, the little mermaid's father, sends a servant to call her back to the palace. Young lady, where are you? Your father is worried. Oh no, I've been here for hours. I'd better head home. Why are you always late for dinner? I saw a research vessel. Did you know how much plastic is floating in our oceans? That's a human problem, not ours. But Dad, I want to be a scientist Then help. Nonsense. Science is for humans. And besides, it's not a job for a girl. But I... Enough. You've already enrolled in a school for nymph singing and print snatching. You'll follow the tradition. But I don't want that. I want to make a difference. I've made my decision and you'll do what I say. The little mermaid swims deep into the coral forest upset. Why are you crying, child? I want to be a scientist, but my father forbids it. I knew your mother very well. She was brave, clever and always followed her heart. Even when it went against what others expected. That's why your father loved her. I miss her so much. She would want you to follow your instincts. Be true to yourself, little mermaid. Determined, the little mermaid makes a choice. She leaves a letter for her father and swims away from the palace. Sir, I'm sorry, but your daughter has left. She left this letter for you. I have no daughter and I will never want to hear from her again. The little mermaid follows the research vessel, determined to help. She focuses on her studies and works closely with the marine biologist. She learns about pollution, how plastic calms the ocean, and the ways that she can make a difference. The Little Mermaid begins to assist in finding solutions to stop the pollution. Look, your prototypes work. I have a plastic bottle, Lego blocks, a bark. It will take at least a hundred years to clean up all the ocean. One day, as she is working on the research vessel, Poseidon appears. His face is filled with regret. I'm sorry. You remind me so much of your mother. Smart, brave and kind. I miss her every day. I miss you too, Daddy. I am proud of you. I was wrong to stop you. Will you forgive me? Of course. Will you help us protect the ocean? Absolutely. Together it will make the seas safe again. But people should stop using plastic altogether. Replace it with a material that will not harm nature.